Hey, so this is just a, another super quick video continuing my series on Shopify settings. Uh, so today we're going to be looking through users and permissions and the payment settings. So user and permissions is a very simple um, section inside of settings. There's only two things you can really do. Um, you can add staff and you can, you know, see collaborators. Um, so staff is very simple to add. You just um, put in the name and the email and then you can configure the amount of settings you want to give the person. Um, so inside of here, you can give them access to different sections inside of like the Shopify backend. So you can give them access to manage the settings of your store. You can give them access to manage um, themes, which is probably the main thing uh, if you are, you know, getting somebody to build your site or for clients, um, you know, build on sites for clients. Um, themes is probably one of the main ones you'll uh, give them access to. Other things you can give them access to uh, is discounts and obviously you can mix and match so you can select bits and pieces here and there. Um, very simple stuff to add people and once you've added a person in and they've accepted it because they get an email with an invite um, and then they can accept it or decline it. Um, once they've accepted it you can click onto their name like so and you can kind of see the person you know about us and little things and i'm not going to scroll down because i'll show my ip address uh but you can see how many times they've logged in when was the last time they've logged in uh and you know the ip address and what they used to log in um the other thing is collaborators so collaborators are like a different form of staff account basically um a collaborator is another agency type of typically um who requires special access to your store so for example it says here designers developers marketers accessing your shopify admin so it's essentially the same as a staff account uh but it just it's just special access uh, so for example i am on the shopify partners programs um and the rest of my team and that means we can access your store and we won't use up any of your staff accounts so it's just easier way um and the way we do that is by using this url here so as you can see my screen uh, so it'll be it'll be your myshopify.com uh url and we'll just give access here and when um i do submit uh, access request you'll see like CHU digital it's requesting access to your store and it'll be the same thing as the staff accounts you can just select which access you can uh, give us so that is user permissions next thing is payments um, another simple section uh, once you set it up the main thing is setting up Shopify payments so you come here and press complete account setup it's going to ask you a ton of different uh, legal questions um, so for example, most people will be individual sole trader or private limited company. So if you click into one of these, you'll just fill in the details as such, if you've got them. Um, yeah. Um, so this will be bank information for the payouts and it's going to ask you whether you have a VAT number and most of this stuff is optional. Um, but it's just so Shopify, Shopify can verify you're a real person. Uh, and you can't get access to Shopify payment until you fill this out. So make sure you fill this out. The other things you can set out, set up uh, PayPal and Amazon uh, Pay. Um, I've never actually used this and I don't see any clients using this. Uh, PayPal have been kind of mean recently uh, from what I've been hearing. Uh, but yeah, you can set them up, those up if you want. Manual payments, mef manual payment methods. I've never seen anyone use these either, uh, but these are options. Create custom payment method. I don't even know what that means. Bank deposit, money order, and cash on delivery. So those are the options for those two different settings.